creators, we kind of make sure my signal off. But with content creators, we. Hey, you guys, your girl is back. And today I want to do a little girl chat, card chat. I love these type of videos because they always feel so laid back and they just feel so intimate. I don't know if it's because we're in the car and they just feel like so intimate. But anyways, let's get into today's little girls chat, car chat. So I don't know if you guys have been noticing, but I have been recording a little bit more and more laid back just because when I was recording content before, I feel like I was definitely recording content for YouTube and for all you guys. And don't get me wrong, as much as I love my community and I love getting to know like every single one of you individually because you guys are so unique. Um, I do want to create content for myself. And what I mean by that is I think with like content creators, we kind of make sure my signal off. But with content creators, we forget that content is for us. Um, I just remember I talked about this before when I was younger. My family would always keep like videos of us when we were younger and I love looking back at them. And so I think these videos for me have like really just personally become it is so hot in Arizona, you guys, right now. It is 104. But anyways, I was saying, like, these videos have, like, really just become, like, a video diary for me. I don't know if that makes sense. But I've also been really inspired to just record more videos like these because I just started watching The Kardashians. And I know it sounds crazy because I used to, like, never watch them before. And my friend put me on. But... I just love how they have so much footage of themselves and they can always just go back and look at it and so for me like I really really want to go back and look at these videos and see what I was thinking as my 20 year old self so hopefully that makes sense but let's get into today's chat so yeah like I was saying earlier this video isn't gonna be super long it's really just gonna be like a short video of like where my mental has been like what I have been feeling what I have been like been thinking lately and like I said I really feel like content should be like some of it for your audience but then also also some of it for you because again like these videos I can look back and just see like what I was thinking and feeling when I was 25 but um but yeah I've just been like, feeling like a little bit homesick um you know of course it's like good to be like away from your family especially when you have like family drama or not family drama just like family stuff going on you guys know that we're not human we're not I mean, we're not human. We're not perfect. We're human. So, like, you know, I just, my mom has been going through a lot with, like, you know, the kids growing up, my older brothers growing up. So, you know, it's nice to, like, not be directly near, you know, like, the family stuff going on because, like, then you don't get so affected. But then again, I'm like, I do miss my family. So, you guys knew I, mo I moved to Arizona, like, about eight months ago. So, yeah this is just how i've been feeling like of course i miss them but i know this is like a sacrifice in order to kind of get my house out here because i didn't want to stay in ohio you guys know that i grew up in ohio um i was just sick of that weather so again this is just like a video like just like expressing how i've been feeling and you know just a lot of people don't understand like the sacrifices and sometimes like your goals especially when you're like really ambitious and just goal driven like a lot of people don't get why you take your life so seriously and then again like a lot of people and then like I think to myself I'm like okay we're floating on a rock so like life isn't that serious but then again I'm like super driven on my life goals so it's just kind of like I don't know like going back and forth and just learning how to prioritize myself at the end of the day because people can tell you one thing and another thing and you can believe you know I don't know you can especially because I read a lot like you can believe a lot of different things and you don't know like what to believe sometimes but at the end of the day I really think like as long as your spirit and as long as you're happy that's all that matters so yeah I've just been learning how to like just how to balance everything how to balance work how to balance myself how to balance you know just being like a good friend a good daughter a good girlfriend so it's just kind of been a lot um it is july and then also another thing that i recently read was that like i mean i'm still in my 20s i'm still learning i'm still young but something that i read recently was a quote that said um if you look down on other people just because they're not evolved as much as you are yet 
it means that you're not involved and that hit my heart so like it just resonated with me so much because I think like on this journey while you're super ambitious and you're super goal driven and you're you know working you're working hard towards your goals um you can you can kind of like forget that you know most people are on a different journey and I definitely kind of caught myself being like a little judgmental and just, you know, wondering, you know, why do people not want it as much as I do? Why do people not work as par- as hard as I do? And I just realized that everybody is on their own journey and you cannot judge people for where they are in life because, you know, I remember when I was like 18, 19 and, you know, all I would do is go to work, come back, watch TV and I was going to college. I didn't really have any other goals besides that I just thought college was my end all and so now looking back I'm not trying to judge anybody else because like I understand you know I'm very very spiritual and I think that everything has to go with your mind body and spirit and maybe I'm not evolved as as much as other spiritual people but I have to constantly remind myself you know not to judge anybody else just because you know their goals or the life doesn't align with me because I don't know where they are on their journey like I don't know how much they have learned about themselves I don't know how much they have learned about you know whatever they they are on their journey so hopefully that makes sense but I just really really wanted to share that with you guys because as someone that's very very spiritual and I'm Latina and um you know you guys know that I grew up very Catholic in a like very strict Catholic household but I'm not like religious like I'm not I don't go to church I'm not I'm not Catholic because I'm just a very, very, like, when people meet me, like, this is what I mean, like, I'm just very, very open-minded, and I fight with my time, I fight with myself all the time, like, on what I believe and, and, and what I really believe, because I believe in just finding out the truth, and I know that we're never gonna know the truth about religion, we're never really gonna know the full story or the true story, but I just... I'm always open-minded because after like learning so much about different religions there's like I'm getting off topic but there's a truth to every single to every single religion and the same way that there's a truth to every single religion there's a truth to every single life and every single perception that everyone has lived so it's not okay for me to judge somebody else you know just because maybe they're not ambitious enough or because my perception of them is not ambitious enough and that's another thing that I've been learning is like just learning that everybody has a different perception so I can only see things through my eyes only so if I look at somebody else and I you know I catch myself judging that's only from my perception I don't know them I don't know that person fully I don't know what they've been through so it's just a lot of learning that like I'm going through right now I feel like I'm just on learning a lot of things and I want to make a video on like things I learned in my teens and then things I'm currently learning through in my 20s because I just feel like every single day I'm literally just growing evolving and learning new things but yeah this is just how I have been feeling. I've just been like learning so much about myself. And another thing that I've like recently learned is that everyone is a mirror of yourself. And the more I pay, the more I pay attention to other people, the more I realize that everyone comes into your life for a reason to teach you a different thing about yourself only. And again, it kind of comes with, you know, I caught myself kind of judging other people. And then I realized, you know, what does that say about me? Like, what does that say about you know what what am I picking up through them like what is triggering me about them that I need to discover within myself so hopefully that makes sense I know this was just supposed to be like a little girl car chat and I just got super deep on y'all but these are like my thoughts y'all like these are just the things that I think every day and I'm just super super passionate about just being the best person I can be being super open-minded because I'm not God I don't know everything but then again just being super authentic to myself and my spirit um and hopefully that makes sense y'all I know hopefully that makes sense because sometimes I feel like I'm just all over the place sometimes I feel like some of the things I think about are just way too deep for people to understand or comprehend but then again maybe that's just my perception because I haven't felt like I have met anyone that has been willing to like just push the boundaries you know besides my boyfriend but push the boundaries or just be different or you know just push society outside of what we are normalized to believe in or we are normalized 
to grow up with so hopefully that makes sense i know i kind of went deep on y'all but let me know if you guys want a second video like this where i kind of talk more about spirituality stuff because i could go on and on forever um don't get me started like on shadow work because that's another thing that i want to get into um i'm definitely into shadow work and um i only know a little bit so i'm not gonna sit up here and pretend i'm an expert but yeah i'm gonna stop rambling you guys i just wanted to share a little bit about how i've been feeling um hopefully this all makes sense and yeah i'm just gonna upload this short video for you guys and this is just a little car chat update with you guys about how i've been feeling and you know again these very these videos are as much as you guys as they are for me so i just want to tell like my 30 year old self or like my future self if they come back and look at this video just to keep going keep going and and everything is going to work out um you just got to be consistent you got to be patient and the right people will will come to your circle because you know as much as I love spending time with myself, I really do love spending time with myself. I've just been feeling kind of lonely on the, you know, entrepreneurship journey. And yeah, that's all I have to say. But I know the right people will will come when, when they're needed. So for now, I'm going to keep enjoying myself. Keep teaching you guys everything that I've been learning. And for my future self... I know that my tribe is coming and I know that they're going to be amazing and I can't wait but for now keep going keep evolving keep just being the best you can be because I know I can be better than the person I am today well I'll see you guys in the next video don't forget to like share and subscribe and bye you guys